Welcome. Today's topic is flexibility, extremely important topic when we look at recovery and injury prevention. So during this lesson, we'll look at what is flexibility, why is it important, what are some different ways we can improve our flexibility, and why is flexibility beneficial. What is flexibility? Flexibility focuses on the joints in our body, and it's the ability of a joint, the range of motion around that joint. So when we look at a joint, there's bones, tissue, muscle tissue, tendons, nerves. All these things work together for our flexibility. So when we look at flexibility, it also means that the ability of our joints to move freely. And flexibility, it's important because not only for athletic performance, but even in our daily tasks of everyday life, it's important that we have good flexibility. Because as we get older, we're going to lose some of those things surrounding our joints as far as performance. So we have to keep ourselves flexible so we can do those activities. And if you remember from a previous lesson that flexibility is an important part of health-related fitness. Why is flexibility important? Flexibility does a bunch of different things for our body that will help us reduce the risk of injury and also increase our performance. So it increases our range of motion. We're able to move more freely. It impacts our posture, improves our posture. Therefore, our spine has better alignment that reduces the chance of injury and also sets us up for good movement performance. Muscular balance, it's important that we have especially muscles that are opposite each other. We have equal flexibility and different sides of the body. Again, this will help with injury prevention and performance. And neuromuscular efficiency means that our brain, our nervous system, our muscles working together for movement. So the better able they're, the better they're able to do that, the better performance you're going to have. So we want to train to improve your neuromuscular efficiency. We want to do activities that are going to increase our flexibility and train for those different movements. The best way to increase flexibility is by including stretching routines and programs in your workouts and before and after your workouts. During this talk, I'm going to look at four different types of stretching dynamic stretching, static stretching, PNF stretching, and ballistic stretching. Dynamic stretching is when we're moving through space and putting our joints through a range of motion. Because of this movement, dynamic stretching is more appropriate as a warm-up for that part of our workout. Static stretching is where we're holding a position. We're not moving all, we're just holding position for a stretch. Static stretching is helpful because you have a stretch reflex in your muscles and, the, and there's a muscle spindle in there that if you move too quickly, it protects the muscle and it pulls back. That's why I tell students when they're doing the sit and reach to go out slowly instead of throwing their body out there because their muscles are going to react to that situation. So static stretching is more, important, more appropriate after we're warmed up. So it's better to do at the end in the cool down portion of your workout. PNF stretching or proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation is a technique where think of contract and relax. So a partner, a therapist would work with the athlete to push that limb through a range of motion to get that joint through a range of motion. And what it does, it forces a contraction of a muscle and then a relax. So the therapist or the partner may be able to push the muscle and the joint through a further range, further range of motion than just regular stretching. Ballistic stretching is where you're moving in a stretch and you might bounce a little bit and move your body to try to get a little further in the stretch. That's why ballistic stretching usually is not recommended because it increases the risk of injury. There are some other activities beyond stretching that could improve your flexibility. Yoga, weightlifting, dance are some examples. And the reason why is that these activities move the body and the joints through a full range of motion. So if the athlete 
or the person working out is doing it correctly, they should be increasing their range of motion as they're doing the activities. To reiterate the benefits of flexibility, they decrease the risk of injury because our muscles are able to move more efficiently and through a greater range of motion, so it increases the range of motion. And this is also going to lead to improved movement performance. In summary, what is flexibility? It's the range of motion around your joints or the ability of your joints to move freely. Why is flexibility important? Because it helps us with muscular balance, posture, range of motion. How do we improve flexibility? We want to consistently have stretching routines okay, in our workouts or in our practices, incorporating things like dynamic flexibility, static exercises, different types of stretches. And they benefit because they're going to increase our performance but also decrease our risk of injury. And the picture I included to the right is because as we get older, our flexibility decreases naturally. So we need to make sure that we're continuing to do activities for flexibility. So look at, for, for yourself, look at how you incorporate flexibility exercise in your workout and your practices. What impact does it have and are there areas you can improve your flexibility?